Hello, my name is John Ingram. I'm a student at Western Governors University, and this presentation is for TJP1, Application of Effective Communication. I'd like to talk to you today about medical debt and the crippling effect it has on Americans. I don't believe that any American should, uh, or anybody really, uh, should, um, sh should uh, face financial ruin because they got sick or because they got hurt. Um, but, but, but how to pay for health care has, has there are a lot of opinions about how, how we should pay for health care. On the one side, for example, you've got those who say uh, that health care is a basic human right and therefore the federal government should just pay for it. This is very similar to Medicare. It would be a significant expansion of Medicare to make that happen. Um, um, might it be a good idea? Perhaps. Um, do, is, is there any chance we could get there politically anytime soon? No. Um, and then on the other side, there are people who uh, correctly say this would be very difficult, if not impossible, to pay for. Um, but they, but uh, a lot of people also believe that it's not the way to go uh, because, uh, for example, the health care system in America is one of the best in the world, and that's because we have a competitive free market way of paying for it, some would say. And it was socialized medicine, um, which is kind of, kind of what that um, um, single-payer model would be. Um, you wouldn't get the quality, and you'd have to wait longer and things like that. Uh, so these these two ideals are incredible. Uh, these two example opinions are, are very very far apart. Therefore, you can assume there's a lot of room in between them to compromise. If we were in a climate in which compromise seemed possible, but we're not, um, I would focus instead on some simple core ideals that pretty much everybody should be able to agree upon. Like I said, I don't think that getting sick or hurt is a reason to be financially ruined or declare bankruptcy. And, and I also th uh, think that the, the research shows that uh, you, Americans who are in my, med who have medical debt are significantly more likely to uh, are very likely to uh, to delay additional care that they may need, which of course makes them sicker, makes it more expensive down the road. Let's jump into some research, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, um, Himmelstein and others in uh, 2005 Health Affairs, a journal called Health Affairs, found that uh, fully half of Americans feel stress uh, related to medical bills. I think that's that's an impressive number. Uh, some impressive charts behind me as well. Um, I, I made a couple pie charts based on some data um, from the Kaiser um, the Kaiser Family Foundation 2013 uh, health tracking poll. Um, and, and for ease of analysis, I've, uh, I've uh, merged the, the very worried and somewhat worried into red, and then not worried and not too worried into green. So basically, I have two choices to choose from. In both, the, They asked the uninsured and insured Americans um, how worried they were about paying medical bills, about their ability to pay medical bills in the event of serious illness or accident. Now, it's not terribly surprised to me that if you're uninsured, you would be quite you know, the, a, a high percentage of the uninsured. In fact, this is 84 percent. These two pie slices together um, are worried about their ability to pay medical bills in that situation. What really surprised me, though, was that even when you're insured, even when you have health insurance, um, that this number isn't much better. 60, it's better than 84 percent, but not as good as it should be. 62 percent of the insured, people who are either provided with or e who even pay for health insurance. Of all the things you might be worried about, if you have health insurance, you would think that paying your medical bills would not be the worry. Um, you know, uh, we get peace of mind from insurance. That's why we buy it. Um, I get peace of mind from my auto insurance. And I think if I was in an auto accident, I would be and got hurt. I would be much more confident in my 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 auto insurance uh, company's ability to pay to fix my car than than my health insurance ability to fix myself. Um, I understand where the where the sentiment comes from. Um, more, more important, almost worse of a problem, though, is the delay of care. We know that if you need health care, you need to get it. And, uh, but, but a Gallup poll in 2013 shows that 30% of those polled delay medical treatment due to cost, um, or ha you know, have recently delayed medical treatment due to cost. Um, a con in 2011 in the Biomedical Market Newsletter found that if you've got medical debt, you're five to six times more likely to delay care. That's five to six hundred percent more likely to delay care. Uh, of course, those without insurance are more than twice as likely to delay care. However, um, she found that 25% of those with insurance delay care. 
Um, and if you have a serious condition, this is the most tragic part about it. If your condition, the more serious your condition is, the more likely you are to delay care. So it's not the routine care they're delaying. It's the obviously more expensive, more involved care. And but, well, as I said, this just makes, makes people sicker and makes it more expensive down the line. Look, wherever you are politically, uh, surely we can find something to agree on in this area. If you're, uh, um, if you're sing on, on the single-payer side, the Medicare for all side, Surely you can understand how undoable that is in this climate, and can't we rally around something much more simple and much more centrist? And if you're a, a supporter of free market health care, uh, surely you can see the hardworking Americans are suffering under these crippling medical bills. Uh, don't we have a moral obligation to do something for them? I think we do. And so in summary, we live in a very polarizing time. We've got to be able to agree on some simpler ideas. Uh, uh, nobody should delay their care for, for financial reasons, and nobody should incur crippling debt just because they got sick or hurt, in my view. Uh, I'll, I believe we have the resources as a nation to ensure that people can be healthy, both medically and financially. Um, that's, my, uh, that's my presentation, and I thank you for your time and attention.